Bidobin Kinomagagamuk is host to an amazing experiment currently underway. The United Walleye Club of Ontario has provided one classroom with a micro aquarium. The specialized aquarium is designed to house and hatch fish eggs. Presently within this micro aquarium are over 4,000 pickerel eggs, which this class has the pleasure of not only hatching but releasing into local lakes and rivers. Teacher Becky Toulouse explained the experiment to myself in an interview. Speaking today with uh, Ms. Becky Toulouse. Um, I just wanted to uh, kind of bring up the speed here. Um, what is that thing back there? Um, we have a micro hatchery. It's um, designed to uh, let it allow us to uh, hatch um, walleye eggs or any kind of fish eggs, I guess you could put in there, um, from the point of uh, where they're fertilized till they're fried, and then we can release them into the water of our choice. And who donated said uh, micro aquarium? Um, the United Wildlife Club of Ontario is um, an organization that's trying to promote um, the, uh, I guess, the walleye numbers in our waters, and they um, are working closely with schools and communities so that uh, they can get youth involved because they're the future, and they're the ones who are going to benefit from the walleye populations um, increasing and hopefully they'll be the caretakers too of those waters. So. And uh, how have the kids received the uh, aquarium? Oh, they just, uh, they've just taken on these eggs like they're, they're, they're babies, like literally. Yeah, they care for them, they come in every morning and check the eggs and uh, we had a little bit of a mishap with the first batch of eggs and um, there was a problem with the water we received. So we did have some loss of uh, eggs and they let, like they actually cried. So there's a very close connection. It's incredible, actually. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I guess with the you already kind of mentioned that the, uh, they'll be released afterwards, but is there any, uh, like when, when you're concluded, when you're done with uh, these walleye eggs, uh, is there uh, future plans with the aquarium? The aquarium and the microscope, which is an $800 microscope, and it has a 10 megapixel camera attached to it, and you can, um, take photos and videos of what you're seeing on, on the slide and uh, you just plug it into your laptop and you can save it there and then email it off to people or to, you know, a site or whatever. And as long as we continue to use the microscope um, for educational purposes, we can use it for whatever we want. We can look at pond water, we can look at frog eggs or skin or anything for biology in science. and. Um, it's the school's microscope as long as we use it, and we're using it. But right. it's on loan, it's still on loan basically from the United Wildlife Club, but it's ours to use as long as we continue to use it. With the micro aquarium as a possibly permanent fixture in the classroom, students are excited to continue this experiment with other fish or amphibian eggs. Everybody, uh, final thoughts on your uh, wonderful pet project back there? It's a cool experience. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys going to try and uh, keep it in the classroom? Because I, I heard it, there has to be stuff in it for it to stay I'm here. A bigger one? I love your ambition. That's a great idea. And how do you think we can make that happen? Fundraise? As an alumni of Benob and Kigamagagamic, it is inspiring to see the many advances the school has made in resources and teaching. Chi miigwech to the United Walleye Club for loaning the micro aquarium and the microscope, as well as sparking an interest in the sciences and nature for future generations. This is Alan Toulouse, Bamampi Minois. Hey.